Islam, boys. Islam. 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 All praise is due to Allah, highest brothers to his holy and divine prophet, Prophet Noble Drew Ali. You know, the, uh, Brother Jalil touched on, on many points. Um, you know, talked about sacrifice. Islam. Islam. You know, sacrifice is a high degree. What is sacrifice? Anybody? All these masterminds are here. Nobody know what a sacrifice is. Islam, boy. To, uh, to give up to give up something you like to do or you, you might need in order to uh, better the cause of another situation. That's love. That's love. To give up something to advance the cause of another situation. To, to advance the purpose of something that you were uh, charged to do. That's love? That's love. You know, oftentimes I got you. Oftentimes we, we you know, we have a particular assignment, and we say, oh, that's too much for me, All right? You know, but the things that we can sacrifice, we won't. Mm. Islam, Islam. Our, our Quran talks about, you know, will you give your, give your life as a willing sacrifice? But what does that mean? Doesn't mean that you have to give up, you know, your physical life. Doesn't mean that you have to literally die. Islam? but giving up a part of yourself to see something else grow. Islam was, uh, you know, for the, you know, the, the, uh, the, the teenagers and the children in the room, you sacrifice. Every day, you sacrifice. You sacrifice about eight hours out of your day so that you can go to school, learn a particular lesson, so that you can make a particular grade, so that you can be done with it. Islam? Islam. Because most of y'all would rather be at home playing your video game. That's right. As the brother was talking about. Islam? Islam. So we sacrifice all the time, but we don't recognize what that sacrifice means to us in, our, in, you know, in, the, in, the, in the grand scheme of things. Islam, Islam, So we do it all the time, but how do we cultivate the idea of sacrificing into it being a part of a, of a greater purpose? But how can we make it a greater purpose if we don't know who we are? Islam, boys? Islam. How can we make it a greater purpose if you think that you are something that someone else told you that you were? But they're really not. Say it again? But they're really not. But they're really not. Mm. Islam, boys? Islam. Thinking you are something that you are not. How can you manifest that, that purpose? Islam? See, you know, I give the analogy, I still got you, one. I, I, I give this analogy, you know, what do policemen do? Execute the law. They take tickets, they pull people over. I know I was going to get a lot of answers. <laughs> they take, you say, they do what? Execute the law, I heard that. I said they give people tickets, they pull people over, and they take people to jail. Why? Because they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Right. Excellent answer, right? Yeah. If you're not doing what you're supposed to do, there are consequences. Yes. Islam boys? Yeah. If you're not doing what you're supposed to do, there are consequences. Mm -hmm. Right? If you're not studying for that test for school, there are consequences. Mm -hmm. You might get an F. But if you sacrifice some time to study and go over your lessons, mm -hmm. you might pass that particular test. Wow, wow, wow. See, we have lessons all the time in our lives. We have conflict with other people all the time in our life. Those are tests. Mm. Oh, he said something about me. I'm finna go and... That's a test. And because your emotions and feelings start to take over you, you'd be about to fail that test. Yes. But you gotta do what first? What you gotta do first so that you don't fail that test? Absolutely. You gotta study who? Yourself. You gotta study yourself. And if you study yourself, you'll realize that in order to get over that particular test, all you have to do is think first. Because when I think first, I tend to make right decisions. And right is a, is a, is a, is a, uh, a discipline, right? Right is a principle of the higher self. What is the higher self? Higher self is one of the virtues, harmony, life, and justice, mercy, love, and right. Let's say it like we mean it. What is the higher self? I yourself is one of the virtues of harmony, life, free, justice, mercy, love, and right. 
So the higher self breeds justice, mercy, love, and right. Not justice, mercy, love, and correct. Mm. It says it breeds right. Because right and righteous is the same thing. Islam was? Islam. But in the study of self, when I'm, when I'm learning my higher self and my lower self, this, the process, the study, the process of the study is a sacrifice. Why? Why is that a sacrifice? Because I can just let my lower self run rampant. That's right. What did the higher self say to the lower self at one time when he met him? Where are you going, oh, Satan? Where are you going, Satan? And what was the answer that the, high, the higher self gave? Uh, pardon, self. What was the answer that the lower self gave to the higher self? <laughs> I am going to and fro the earth seeking whom I may devour. I am going to and fro the earth seeking whom I may devour. Mm. What earth? Mm. Our earth. Our earth. Wow. Ourselves. Why? Because uh, <laughs> see, you made me stop. <laughs> because where is Satan? Wait, I'm gonna pick on somebody. Where is Satan? Down, Down where? In the really? Show him. <laughs> Down where? I don't see him. I mean, like, he's not up here. Uh, he not where? Up here. Up where? In the sky. Sure ain't. Who in the sky? Nobody. That's right. Mm. Ain't nobody up there. Come on. Maybe some folks, you know, traveling on the plane. The plane. <laughs> they plane. They, they plane. Jets. Jets plane, right? Ain't nobody up there, right? See, the 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 only devil that man should be redeemed from is self. self. His what? Lower self. His lower self, right? So when you say he down there, yeah, he down there within you. Right? There's no devil outside of you. I know I see, see uh, he said, oh, okay, I'm talking to my daddy about this. <laughs> 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 but guess what? God is also within you too. Mm. Mm. Right? It's long. And, and he's up there. He's your higher self. See, man has two selves. Mm -hmm. And what are they? Higher self and lower self. This first time I saw you look at <laughs> the higher self and lower self. The higher self and lower self. Right? That's right? And the higher self is the mother of the virtues and the harmonies of life and breeds justice, mercy, love, and right. What does the lower self breed? Hatred, slander, murder, murder, theft, and everything that harms. Hatred, slander, murder. Hatred, slander, murder, theft, and everything that harms. Right? So when we learn our higher self and lower self, Again, we know where our Savior lives. You know, our people sitting back, waiting on that Savior to come. Mm. Just sitting back, right? Mm -hmm. But if you would find your Savior, you would look where? Within. 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 His name is Self. <laughs> you are your own Savior. Come on. When you have a problem, you got to solve it. Mm -hmm. right. If you don't solve it, who going to solve it? Nobody. You going to wait on God to do it? That's right. Yeah. Why? Because what are the actions of the soul? Mm. Thinking. Thinking, reasoning, willing, and understanding. There you go. Thinking, understanding, reasoning, and willing. Your brain. You got to use your brain. Because the nearest place to me, Allah, is where? In the heart. In the heart. And the brain and the mind is connected. Yes. The heart and the mind is connected. They're one and the same. Mm. So the nearest place to me, God, is in heart. You hear me? Yes. The nearest place to meet God is in your own heart. He's closer to you than your juggler vein. That sound good? Praise Allah. Right? See, these lessons are designed to be simple enough for our children to grasp and understand. Islam was? Islam. Otherwise, we're going to be taught that we got to wait for this guy to come down from the clouds and come and solve all of our problems. And when we do bad, some dude under the ground is going to... That's falsehood, man. That's European psychology. That was taught to us by another people. So we had a prophet to come back to correct that within our own minds. He said that you have mental slavery right now. Mental slavery. That's worse than... Well, I won't say that. That's just as worse as physical slavery. 
This is just as worse. Because if I can take the mind, I can take what? The body. If I can take the mind, I can control the rest of you. That's why I'm always. How do you think that our children know every word of, of, of songs that come on the radio? Because naturally, we are very rhythmic people, right? We like rhythm. We like, you know, uh, sound and music, right? It's the easy way to get to the mind because it relaxes your mind, right? Makes your, it makes your mind more approachable. And so by way of media and music, they're able to enter falsehood into your mind. They're able to, you know, introduce destruction and decay into your mind. Dead culture, as the brother Jalil titled it. Dead culture. Islam boys? Islam. Tell me how is that producing life? Talk to me. How is that beneficial to us? It's not. It's not, mom. Not. And I'm saying this, this is going through, you know, through my ear before it reaches yours. So, you know, I'm, I'm not perfect. I'm not standing up here as the, you know, the grand Alibaba <laughs> super scientist, you know, guy, whatever. I'm a regular dude, you know. Because in order for me to show you the way, I got to show myself the way. That's what I'm on. So praise Allah, we had a prophet to come to us to show all of us the way. He says to imitate the prophet. Right? In speak, in thought, in word and deed. That's all? So, I want to uh, read from chapter 8. In chapter 8, mm -mm -mm. chapter 8 is on page 13. So if everyone could please turn to page 13 with me. Jesus attends the peace and they No, sir. Jesus reveals to the people of their sinful ways. Oh, okay. V-I-I-I. Let me say, uh, say Islam when you've made it. Islam. Praise Allah. It says, Jesus reveals to the people of their sinful ways. What is sin? Yes, sir. Sin? Mm -hmm. Sin is jewels. You know, I'm mean like um, diamonds. Like diamonds? Okay. <laughs> I mean, like when you have a, um, one of those, those, um, That's the game. No, not the, no, not the bad. <laughs> when you have a microphone, like, um, um, Sam, not Sam. Sam. Okay, I, thought, I know it, that's why I was <laughs> We'll come back to it. Brother Ikea, you had your hand up. I, I, just remember, I'm sorry, brother. My um, brother. Islam, that yes, you, I was basically, I was planning on making a, 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 a point that you made. Yes, sir. Um, so it, it's cool. Um, but I can answer this question. Mm -hmm. uh, Praise Allah. If you, if you look. Islam, Islam. Um, sin is, sin as a uh, reference to or as identified by the Moorish American is anything that deludes to slavery. It's long, it's long, right? Anything that deludes to slavery. Why is that? And what you was telling him was, you know, was in line with that. But but why is that? Anything that deludes to slavery. Why is that our definition of sin? Sister Janaya, what is what is your understanding of sin? Say it again. Something that you do something bad. Okay, when you do something bad. Okay. 
And who is the judge of who of, of what's bad? Allah. Allah? Okay. What else? Anybody else? This love. Um, to me, sin is the, the, the disobedience of divine laws and principles. This love. The disobedience of divine law and principles. And so, to disobey divine law and principles, or to do something bad, right, or to do something wrong, you know, intentionally doing something wrong, right? These are things that delude the slavery. Why? Because the lower self breeds hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and what else? Everything. And everything that harms. So if 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 we're doing something wrong, something that you know that is outside of divine law, um, intentionally doing something wrong outside of divine law, <coughs> then it creates nothing else but sin, right? or everything that harms. Islam or us? Islam. Islam. So chapter 8 uh, says, uh, Jesus reveals to the people their, of their sinful ways. Instruction 1, it says, In all the cities of Orissa, Jesus taught. At Katat, by the riverside, he taught, and thousands of people followed him. One day, a car of Juggernaut was hauled along by scores of frenzied men, and Jesus said, Behold, a form without a spirit passes by. A body with no soul, a temple with no altar fires. This car of Krishna is an empty thing, for Krishna is not there. Islam or us? So it talks about a form without a spirit, right? A body with no soul. What does that look like? Say that again, the last part. The soul is like all your breath. All of your breath? Ooh, the holy breath. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I don't know where this stuff comes from, but hey, <laughs> I like it. Islam, well, yeah. I was going to say what it relates to me. It looks like deaf, dumb, and blind, mm. or walking dead, or mm. um, somebody that has a form, mm -hmm. but no civilization. Mm. Mm. Islam, right? It could also look like, uh, you know, disinterest, right? Uh, you know, a lack of care, right? No, no, uh, no interest in, in a thing. Islam? Islam? A form without a spirit, right? A body with no soul. Because again, the, the actions of the soul is what? Thinking, Thinking understanding, understanding, reasoning, and willing. These are active things. These are things you do in the active state of mind. Mm -hmm. Islam. Islam, Morris? Islam. Islam. That's all. All right. So it says, instruction five, this car is but an idol of a people drunk on wine of carnal things. Allah lives not in the noise of tongues. There is no way to him from any idol shrine. Allah's meeting place with man, where is yeah. where? Is in the heart. And in a still small voice he speaks, and he who hears is still. And all the people said, teach us to know the Holy One who speaks within the heart, Allah of the still small voice. And Jesus said, the holy breath. Moses said that then. Talked about the holy breath being, you know, the soul, right? <laughs> that was a close answer, but I, I, like, I, like, I like his answer. So. And Jesus said, the holy breath cannot be seen with mortal eyes. Nor can man see the spirit of the Holy One. But in their image, man was made. And he who looks into the face of man looks at the image of Allah who speaks within. And when man honors man, he honors Allah. And what man does for man, he does for Allah. Islam, Islam or us? Islam. So when we talk about, you know, service to humanity, who are you serving? You are serving Allah. Why? Because Allah is in man. So when you serve that man, when you serve that brother, that sister, you are serving Allah. Islam, Islam. Islam. See, this is the relationship that we have to realize with one another. When we, when we are striving to build a relationship with one another, we have to recognize the Allah within each other. We have to recognize that God is, within, is, you know, 
is within me and, and the same God is within you. Islam, Islam. Islam. Y'all all right? Yes. Y'all sure? All is well. All is truly well. Islam. So Allah is in man. Give me a second. So it says, what was that? Instruction 12. And you must bear in mind that when man harms in thought or word or deed another man, he does a wrong to Allah. All right? If you would serve Allah who speaks within the heart, just serve your near of kin and those who are no kin, the stranger at your gates, the foe who seeks to do you harm. Assist the poor and help the weak. Do harm to none and covet not, covet not what is not yours. Then with your tongue, the Holy One will speak and he will smile behind your, teal, your tears, uh, will light your countenance with joy and fill your hearts with peace. Islam, Islam. So it talks about, it says, let me go back and read it. Then with your tongue, the Holy One will speak and he will smile behind your tears, will light your countenance with joy and fill your hearts with peace. So this is, some, this is describing someone, uh, you know, a, uh, a form with a spirit, right? A body with a soul, a temple with altar fires. Islam? Because early in the chapter it says we we're talking about we we're describing this thing that doesn't exist within the form, right? But then it goes down to, to you know to tell and teach how to identify that that you know those things that's within the form, Islam, and that's that's by way of serving you know your next of kin, recognizing the Allah within each other, Islam, Islam. Islam. See this this you know <laughs> this very understanding helps us build better relationships with one another. Islam? Islam? Recognizing that Allah is within you. When I know that Allah is within you, I know that there's a chance for us to progress. I know that there's a chance for us to be able to communicate better. I know that there's a chance for us to build a better relationship with one another. Islam, Islam. Islam. Because Allah is the only reality. Islam. And what is truth? truth is what is ought? So if that's the case, if truth is all and all is Allah, then what else really exists? Allah. Nothing. Right? We exist. Absolutely, but where is Allah? Where's the nearest place to meet him? Praise Allah. Right? So I still gotta go back to, to that, right? Still have to go back to the most inner part of myself. Right? Which is the most core the core inner part of myself, that's where Allah is. And in order for me to hear him. We are, we are not all Allah. We are all parts of Allah. It says man is not the body nor the soul, but a spirit and part of Allah. So we all have a part of Allah within us. Islam, Islam. So recognizing this, I understand how to, to, to correct and address certain issues within my life. Islam, I, I understand how to recognize my purpose in this life. Y'all with me, Morris? Yes, sir. It says, and then, instruction 16, and then the people ask, to whom shall we bring gifts? Where shall we offer sacrifice? <laughs> and Jesus said, our Father Allah asks not for needless waste of plant, of grain, of dove, of, of lamb, that which you burn on any shrine you throw away. No blessing can attend the one who takes the food from hungry mouths, mouths to be destroyed by fire. When you will offer sacrifice unto Allah, just take your gift of grain or meat and lay it on the table of the poor. From it, an incense will, raise, will arise to heaven, which will return to you with blessedness. Tear down your idols. Your idols. They cannot hear you. They can hear you not. Turn all your sacrificial altars into fuel for the, for the flames. Then make what? Human make human hearts your altars. Right. And burn your sacrifices with, with the fire of what? Love. Of love. Mm. See, Allah is love. Yes. That's what Act 3 says, right? That's right. What it says. Allah is love. So when I recognize the Allah within, I recognize the love within. And so if I recognize the Allah within you, I recognize the love within you. 
And then the love within me can connect with the love within you, and we can have a better relationship. Islam. Islam. Islam, boys. Islam, boys. Islam, boys. Ain't this simple? Simple, simple faith. Simple, simple faith. faith. Islam is a very simple faith. He says a very simple faith. Very simple. It's not deep. It ain't deep, mom. <laughs> right? Islam. Um, so I was saying, if, if Allah, if Allah likes him, hmm. that means his worst enemy is bad. Say it again. I said, <laughs> if, I said, Allah likes love. Mm -hmm. That means bad is within you? Bad, no, you said bad is the worst enemy. Oh, bad is the worst enemy. Okay. Um, well, Allah is love. So Allah don't have to like it, love because he is love. Right? Which means that if Allah was, is within you, then love is within you. And so you don't have to like love because you are love. You are a manifest of love. Right? You are, you are a product of love. A product, right? All right? So it says, And all the people were entranced and would have Jesus as a God. Y'all following this? Pay attention. Uh oh. <laughs> it says, All the people were entranced and would have Jesus as a God. But Jesus said, I am your brother, man. Just come to show you the way to Allah. You shall not worship man. Praise Allah, the Holy One. Islam boys? Islam. What does that mean? What is he saying? Don't worship him. Don't worship Jesus? He said, no. He said, brother man, just come you to show you the way. Islam boys? Islam. Islam. What is a prophet? It's a thought of Allah. Right? It's the thought of Allah. And so if the prophet, if, if, and Jesus was a prophet, right? Jesus was a prophet of Allah. And so if that's the case, who are we worshiping? Worshiping Allah. Islam? But the nearest place to me, Allah is in the heart. So when we say Allah, we're not talking about some different God. All the nations of the earth see Allah from different points of view. And so he does not seem the same to everyone. All nations name the part of Allah that they see. But despite what part of you know what part of Allah that they see, it's still the same one creator. It's still the same one holy one. They might, you know, see the Allah of love, right? This group might see the Allah of thought. But it's still the one collective creator. We still worship Allah. All praise is due to Allah. In the nearest place to meet Allah is in the heart. Islam boys? Islam. Islam. Islam, Islam boys. Giving all praise to most high God, Allah. Highest of highest of honors devoted by Prophet Noble Draw Lee. Islam. Uh, man, this uh, instruction 21 tear down your idols. They can hear you not. Mm. Turn all your sacrificial altars into fuels for the flame. That's you know, I just think about how in today's world, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of idolatry going on. That's right, Mom. There's a lot of idol worship. You know, but whether in the form of material things, mm. you know, we 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 trying to kill each other for mm -hmm. PlayStation Five mm. and Sixes. You know, <laughs> that's we right. Trying to get the Birkin bags. Mm. Or, you know, <laughs> we trying to go. I mean, just a lot of different things. Mm. That's, that's we're 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 spending our resources on that's and right. our spiritual capital mm. towards idols mm. and things that's not going to respond to you. That's right. As, you know, as opposed to you know, turning that energy into some positive. That's right, Mom. That's right. I'm going to say spiritual capital. Mm. Woo. What is capital? Mm. What, is capital? what does capital do? What is capital? Anybody? Uh, Islam, Islam, for part of self, for Islam. Rise, all praise. Father God, the line has the to the prophet of the Islam. Islam. Um, the capital uh, that I understand would be, uh, like, uh, whether, whether it be uh, uh, finance, mm. whether it's... Uh, Word is, is, is losing me right now, but like uh, resources. There you go. Um, <laughs> you know, that, uh, that, uh, uh, where if you uh, if you have something, if you just keep like you're stacking it on top, of, you know, you keep stacking it on. You know, so you know, 
know, whether it's gaining more money or having, you know, continue to put more money together or finance mm. or either or resources. Islam. Islam. Resources. Spiritual resources. Islam. I was just going to say, um, to have resources that's uh, of, a, of a value. Mm. Resources of value. Islam. So what are, what are some examples of spiritual capital? Islam. Islam. That's a lot. Praise a lot. Islam. Well, first, I think the word is looking for assets. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, and second, for, for me, things that I think would be spiritually, uh, like a spiritual asset would be knowledge. Islam. That's right. I was going to say, uh, heaven already risen. That's right. I was going to say that charity would be one. That's right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes, sir. That's right. Um, I would uh, say uh, the uh, work that our ancestors. Mm. That's why. That's why. I'll say your time. You know, whatever you devote most of your time to. That's why. That's generally what's you know. That's mm. what you. Uh, that's what you place value. In. Mm -hmm. That's why. And see, we're given a lesson that <clears throat> time never was when man was not. That's right. Right. And so a part of that continuation of that, that, you know, that legacy or the building of that spiritual, uh, uh, of spiritual capital is making sure those lessons are implanted into our children. It says, page three, dear mothers, teach these lessons to your little ones that they may learn to love instead of hate. Dear, mother, uh, pardon, sorry, dear fathers, by these lessons you can set your house in order and your children will learn to love instead of to hate. Islam always? Islam. And so the continuation of the building of that spiritual capital happens by way of our posterity. Happens by way of, our, of teaching our next generations to continue on that legacy that we're starting to build or that has already been built and, you know, and, and is a continuation by way of us or through us. Islam or us? You know, in uh, um, what is the everlasting gospel? It is a saving power that comes from Allah through our ancient fathers by his prophet. So that is a continuation of a, of a legacy. That is a continuation of, of, of spiritual capital being built for ages, for ancient, from ancient times until now. And, and, and on forward. Islam or us? Y'all follow me? So we have to continue to perpetuate this legacy, right? Because... What is the covenant of the great God? Allah. <laughs> what is the covenant of the great God, Allah? I don't know if we really mean it. Islam. What is the covenant of the great God, Allah? Honor thy father and thy mother, and they may long upon the earth, man, which the Lord thy God, Allah, has given thee. So in order to continue to perpetuate that, that legacy, we have to do so by honoring our mother and our father by continuing on what they built, what they started to build for us, continuing on on their, on their foundation. That's right. And our, our mother and our father is not only our physical mother and our father, because our mother and father stands beyond all the way back to Allah. Mm. Islam. Islam, Islam. Who are at, who are Adam and Eve? Mother and father, Eve, Adam, Ajax, Say they are the mothers right. and fathers, plural. Islam? Islam. So, all praise is due to Allah, highest of honors to his holy divine prophet, Prophet Noble Jurali. Hope we have, so far we've uh, inspired and shared something, shared some knowledge that you're able to, to take home with you and continue to build on and, you know, improve yourselves and improve those around you. Um, um, are there any questions at this time? Yes, sir. What is our, who? What is our star name? So this is the red flag with the five-pointed green star in the center. Each, five, each point on these five points represents love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. This is the Moorish flag. That's the name of the flag, Moorish. The Moorish flag. This is the flag of your ancestors. This flag is over 10,000 years old. Mm. Islam? Mm. 
this flag rep represents the, the place of your birth. So this. <laughs> so this is the flag of your birth because you were born in America. So this is the American flag. All right. You know that you're in America, right? Yeah. So that, that's the American flag. All right. And this is the flag of your ancestors. Any other questions? Ms. Long? So at this time, we will take up charity. Again, I'll read uh, a couple of instructions from chapter 32. Holy instructions from the prophet, charity. Happy is the man who hath sown in his breast the seeds of benevolence. The produce thereof shall be charity and love. From the fountain of his heart shall rise rivers of goodness, and the streams shall overflow for the benefit of mankind. He assisteth the poor in their trouble. He rejoiceth in furthering the prosper prosperity of all men. He censureth not his neighbor. He believeth not the, the uh, tales of envy and malevolence. Neither repeateth he their slander. He forgiveth the injuries of men. He wipeth them from his remembrance. Revenge and malice have no place in his heart. For evil he returneth not evil. He hateth not even his enemies but requiteth their injustice with a friendly admonition. The griefs and anxieties of men excite his compassion. He endeavoreth to alleviate the weight of their misfortunes, and the pleasure of success rewardeth his labor. He calmeth the fury, he healeth the quarrels of angry men, and preventeth the mischiefs of, and of strife and animosity. He promoteth in his neighborhood peace, and goodwill, and his name is repeated with praise and benedictions. Islam, Islam. Islam. One thing I want to, uh, you know, point out here, because you know, again, our, our prophet teaches us that, you know, um, one of the first instructions that we receive is to learn to love instead of to hate. Islam. Islam. Why? Because we know hate too often. We know hate too much. We know hate very well. We've been taught how to hate ourselves. We've been taught how to hate everything else. Islam was? Islam. So in instruction, uh, instruction six, it says, For evil he returneth not evil. He hateth not even his enemies, but requiteth their injustice with a friendly admonition. How difficult is it for us to not hate someone who has done us wrong? How difficult, to, how difficult is that? It's hard. Right? It's hard. hard right? Let's be honest. It's not. It's not. It's pretty hard. It's not. You have to call on. Many times you will have to call on something having already risen. It's not. It's not. You have to call on. You have to call on something within yourself mm. that is not yourself. Mm. You so have you to call upon powers of something greater than you. It's not. So oftentimes we have to take a deep breath and breathe. And call on something that's greater than ourselves. When someone has done, done a wrong to us, done an injury to us, our first response, oftentimes our default is lower self. It's to respond or you know, respond with the same energy that someone else gave us. But if Allah is within you and Allah is love, then you must love to learn to love instead of to hate. And you respond to that situation from the position of love. Islam, Islam. Islam. That makes you strong. That doesn't make you weak. That makes you strong. That makes you the bigger man, the bigger woman. Islam? Islam. Islam. Not returning hate with hate. Not responding to hate with hate. Respond with love. And your end shall be well. Islam, Morris? Islam.